to its first NCAA tournament win in 12 years, please welcome your head coach, Brenda Free. The best thing about Midnight Madness was the fans, uh, the hoopla, uh, the excitement out of uh, our kids and, and the fans that were at the game. I'll tell you what, this team is ready to play this year. They're coming off the second round of the NCAA tournament to go along with the number two recruiting class in the country. And all we need is we need your support this year. February 13th, our goal is to sell this place out in Comcast Center. We play Duke on February 13th. Our men play on Saturday. We play on Sunday. I guarantee the Blue Devils are going down that weekend. Midnight Madness is a stage and it is a lot of fun and it's a hoopla to be able to showcase your team. Um, then when you start practice, it's let's get after it. So excited. I can't believe it's finally here and uh, you know, we've prepared for this for a long time and we're just we're ready to go. Kareem, what's up? All right, um, a few things I want to get ready. I want to go through just a couple things. Returners know what to expect. This is for our new ones, but good reminders as well. I'll tell you what, I mean, we set the tone today when we start practice. We set the tone in terms of what kind of team we're going to be and uh, what kind of chemistry and how we're going to come together. Every day you got to work on getting better. Be patient with yourselves today. Today I'm looking for enthusiasm. I'm looking for you to work hard. All right, that's it. Don't try to do things perfect. It's, you know, there might be some rough spots in practice. We expect that. Just bring your attitude, bring your enthusiasm, and, and stay together as a team. All right, ready to go? Have a good one, all right? Here we go. Here, yeah, Shay. Yeah, Jay. Let's go, Shay. I see you, man. Shay. That's it, Hart. What do you do left hand? What do you do left hand? Good, Lane. First practice the next day uh, was exciting uh, to think of this young group and what they were going to be molded into and, and develop into. You're just doing the drill to do the drill. We, we, work, we worked on Tuesday with making contact. I'm not seeing it there. We worked on making contact here. Now you got to make it down there. Here we go. We're not just doing the drill. We're doing it for a purpose. Go oh. make contact. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 so many different hats I think in this role I mean there's days where you have to be intense and get after them in a practice situation probably my least favorite thing to do um, but then other times where you want to build up um, you want to be there as a mentor um, you know you want to be there in any role you can and um, it is it's a lot of juggling but you know I, I feel like I'm in one of the most rewarding professions that a person could possibly be in and I, I feel very fortunate to, to be able to be a part of young people's lives. I'm not pleased with that practice today at all. And, and you know, whether you need to monitor what you do on a day off, and, and we're going to go through some of that in the locker room, but 
you know, you're coming in off a day off and you're looking sluggish. I don't know if that's, you know, too much sleep, um, not enough, but, you know, we, we can't have days. We, we took a major step back. I know we're taking, you know, we're teaching a lot, but I, I did not like our intensity whatsoever today. We got to be able to, and, and you all have looks of, of, of a lot of fatigue on your face. You, you can't have that happen. Not when we, you know, we're going down to ACC Media Day yesterday and, you know, we're competing against the best teams in the country. You, you, you got to bring it every day. We played a game today, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have won that game because our intensity was not there today. We've got to come ready to bring it every day. If we're going to set the bar as high as we're going to set it, we, we've got to be ready to bring it every day. Uh, Save the struggle, but, you know, you have those days. I mean, season's all about ups and downs. It's just how you react uh, to every, each and every situation. So today was one of our tough days, but tomorrow we'll bounce back. We'll bounce back tonight, come back and have a great practice tomorrow and so forth and so on. So. I think that it definitely wasn't close to one of our worst days. So, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's nothing much, and you just have to build on it and learn from it. We tend to take a lot of little things for granted, you know, like packing for a road trip, for instance, you know. I mean, our, our freshmen tonight, you know, are probably, like, so excited, you know, like, man, I'm ready to go, you know, first road trip, everything like that, you know. But then, you know, when they get to where I'm at, and, you know, you're packing for your last road trip, it's kind of like, I wish I could pack again next year, you know. But, I mean... It'll probably, I mean, it's definitely starting to hit me tonight. It'll probably hit me even more tomorrow when we step on the bus, hit me even more when we get on the plane, and then come game time, you know, like in the locker room when Coach B is giving us her let's go, you know, her let's go speech. I mean, it'll probably hit me even more, but, but then it's game time, you know. You got to worry about I, I'll be focused on the game, and then it won't even matter. But, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm excited. I'm very excited. of us have even heard of Boone, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> I would agree. I hadn't heard of it until then. I think most most of the players on the team um, it was their first experience, their first trip. Uh, great, you know, team bonding experience for us to go down and learn more more about Boone, North Carolina, and go down on that road trip. Where are we? We're in Boone, North Carolina. And who's this town named after? Boone. Okay. Was he born here? No, he was actually trailing through Boone. How long has Boone been around? Boone was back 1700s, wasn't it? Yeah, 1700s it was founded. When you go into a game like this, do you have more questions about your team or about the other team? So early on about your own team, uh, you know, because you don't have a lot of time with um, scouting reports and videotapes yet being the first game of the season. Definitely more questions about yourselves. You want to see how you stack up and compare um, so early in the season. And where do you think this group is confidence-wise? Do you have to start over? Do they walk in ready to think they can do it all? This team by far has come in with the most confidence, the, the most swagger. And it's exciting thinking about how young we are. Mm -hmm. And um, because, you know, the returners all brought it from the experience we received last year in the tournament. And, and uh, you know, the, these young, talented freshmen have had a lot of early success in their high school careers. So um, they bring a confidence because of what they've achieved at the high school level. The, the round is smaller, but the court is the same size. <laughs> Size, different option, different option. There you go. Hold it. Go again. Go again. The ball goes into Harp. Coach, how, how important is a first game of the year just to get things going on the right foot? It, it's really important. It sets the tone, and you know, then you know you, you have a hurdle to overcome being on the road. It's always tough to go on the road, and um, you know you have to have a different mentality. But um, we're excited. I mean, to be able to come out and season's finally here, uh, play against some, some different comp you know competition, and uh, you know we're just ready to get started. Good evening and welcome inside the C.B. Jones Arena in Boone, North Carolina, the home of the Appalachian State 
Mountaineers. The Maryland women's basketball team starts their 2004-2005 season on the road tonight against the Appalachian State Mountaineers. Um, offensively, all right, got to be prepared, got to run them. Um, defensively, tons of ball pressure, and then we rebound the basketball, all right, and then we go block out, rebound the basketball. We have the size. I expect us to dominate the glass. Okay. Any questions? All right. Real thing. It's tonight. The real thing. Just think about it. No more exhibition games. No more scrimmages. No more preseason conditioning. That I know you're upset about. You, you miss that. Okay. Wow. But think about it. You know, all those things have prepared you to get you to now. All those things. I can't believe it's here. I feel like we just finished with the LSU game. I can't believe another season is here. It's going to be exciting. We're guaranteed 27 regular games in the season and, and one game in the ACC tournament. Now, we know we're going to have more than that. But what you got to understand, that's your only guarantee that you're given in a season. My question to you all is, you know, every year, every team, you define yourselves. You get to define yourselves as a team personality. How do you want to be defined? You do it out on the court. Every single time we step out on the floor, we go show them how Maryland basketball is. Get it done on three. One, two, three, get it done! The first half of the Appalachian State game, you know, I mean, we were extremely rusty. time of the Appalachian State game, I think our focus was on defense. I mean, we felt, um, you know, we really needed to be able to come together and um, play more united and, and, and put a better front um, from the defensive end. Let's start with positive. All right, let's start with positive. Transition, all right, great job getting out. All right, transition, great job on the glass. All right, great job on the glass. You're working hard. You really are. You're working hard. we got to play a lot smarter. Defensively, you know, we're doing a nice job and we got to continue to against our three point shooters. But it's almost like, you know, we get out once they catch the ball defensively, now we start to play. We wait until they put the ball on the floor and dribble. No, man, we got to come out and we dictate our defense. We come out, we dictate it with active hands, with our presence. We come out in good closeouts, putting that kind of pressure be before they dictate to us. We dictate to them. All right, new half is 0 0. That's up on the scoreboard is 0 0. New half, all right? Let's go. New half, let's clean it up. Sorry, yes. Yeah. Win on three. One, two, three. Win! Come on. When they closed the gap to eight, you know, I just felt like we needed to, you know, buckle down. In the timeout, you know, I really felt like, you know, we needed to, to move quicker on the defensive end, get out. Um, on the three-point shooters, you know, when the ball was in the air, you know, we needed to be there on the catch. They were getting too many wide-open looks. Anisha Smith showed her leadership that game. I mean, she really picked it up, I mean, with a tremendous amount of ball pressure, which led to steals, which really sparked this team. Coach Jeff Walls, let me ask you this. We're going to do a feature story on Anisha Smith. You guys seem to have a special relationship. What should we know about Anisha? Uh, Anisha's just a, just a great kid. We gave her the nickname Bird. When, when we came in here, she uh, was under the impression it was because she shot like oh, Larry Bird, and then we had to break her the news it's because she's skinny and she looks like a bird. <laughs> Talking to a few people around the program, I asked them about you, and they said she's really grown up. Hmm. I don't know. I guess time will do that to you. <laughs> yeah. I just got to think the state of the program, the mood of the program, has got to be so different when you're leaving versus when you arrive. It's kind of sad to know that I'll be leaving soon. 
knowing when you, that you're about to leave, you know, I mean, everything starts to matter a little more, you know, when you go on the road, you know, you enjoy it a little more, you get a pregame meal, food tastes a little better, mm -hmm. you know, just things of that nature, just knowing that, you know, come this time next year, I, I won't be doing what I've done for my life, you know. Sometimes I feel like I want to play for her, you know, because she hears it. Like, all she hears is, like, of these freshmen, these sophomores, and, like, I think people totally disregard our point guard is a senior on the team, and she leads our team, okay? For me, it is about right now, because that's all I have left, so that, that's definitely what I focus on. You know, I worry about the future and how good Maryland will be when, when my, my present is over, and it's not. And, like, when I think, like, wow, this is her last year, I want to play this year for her. Like, I want it to be special, because she's been through this program, you know, and she, she keeps us together a lot. We gotta learn to stay together. We both just got to learn to stay together. We're better than that. That's all I'm saying. Don't hang your head because you play hard. And sense when, when my teammates are down and also I sense the fact that my team responds very very well you know they feed off of me you know so if I can if I can help on the court off the court any way I can help make this team better you know I'll do my best to do that let's have a good one I got a big one forward movement on three here we go oh, one like two that. three forward movement also when the team brings in the huddle you're kind of the ones who will decide what you're going to say on the break yeah I mean that, that's that's a job of your, you know a job of one of your leaders you know I mean you pretty much want to try to set the tone and, and have your teammate have your team follow and feed off of that so you know depending on what I'm feeling whatever I think will get us going you know I'll say it my team will follow. We're better than this. We're better than this. Stay together on three. One, two, three, stay together. I mean, we're going to miss that. I, I say that to myself all the time. I mean, um, the things that, that she follows up with and the voice that she is, uh, whether we're in the locker room as coaches or not, um, I know we're in good hands. Punish them on three. One, two, three, punish I got to think these coaches probably get on you harder about little things. Come on. Stop doing a cabbage patch. Just straight up, straight down than anybody else. You're right, you're helping reinforce to me that you don't want to play because you don't want to talk to your teammates. They get on you, how do you take it? Uh, matter of fact, uh, Coach B and I had a talk about that. She, she sat and you know said to me, like, my, my team, they, they feed off a lot of things I say. And, and a lot of times when the coaches need a spark, you know, they will say something about something I'm not doing right or something like that, just to see how I respond. And I go. She should tell me how a year ago um, had that happen. You know, my attitude, to, you know, for the rest of practice probably would have went downhill. And she just said, you know, um, it spoke a lot about how I've matured over, over the course of a year and within the years that they've been here. Then the next play, I was smiling like, okay, I got you, you know. And you're playing for five minutes. Okay. Okay. Would you have been that way when you were a freshman? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Maryland. God, they've got such a bright future ahead of them. I mean, they're bringing in a, a, another great recruiting class next year. Um, I mean, I, I have no doubts that our year this year will be will be great. You know, so to know that you know you're leaving, you know, like at the start of all that, like I said, it's kind of sad. But to know you were, that I was part of the foundation, you know, part of what started it. I mean, it makes you feel good. You know, I can always come back and say, you know, I helped start, a, you know, a winning tradition here. So I'll, I'm able to take that with me. Um, to see, you know, the steps she's made her junior year and now her senior year. She's worked extremely hard and, uh, you know, she can now knock down an open jumper and uh, run in the break. We have six assists and Anisha has all six. I look back, you know, the things I've accomplished, the things I've done, and I'm very grateful because a lot of people don't ever get the chance to be in my shoes. Great shot. Just Great excited shot. To, to see where she's going to lead this team. I think she's going to take this team to new heights. That's pretty, man. That's yeah, pretty when you play that like that. That's really nice, buddy. when you play like that. Tell me about your major and what you want to be when you grow up. Uh, I'm a criminal justice major. Mm -hmm. I want to be a special agent someday. I don't even care whose agency, FBI, CIA. So, looking for Anisha Smith. I'll be out in May. <laughs> in a totally different position they were in three years ago. I mean, she had the number two recruiting class in the country. Um, I said at the beginning of the season that to my kids, I said, you know what? This team is a top five team, and nobody come March is going to want them in their bracket. And I believe that. I mean, Brenda and her staff, they've done a phenomenal job. And, of course, this is an easy place to sell. I mean, I think the men jump started it, winning the national championship, the new building. Um, their young kids are, are, are playing way beyond freshmen and sophomores.
she didn't play like a freshman uh, when she came out and I mean it was extremely aggressive and uh, did a, a lot of nice things and, and wasn't intimidated. I mean she definitely showed she was going to be a uh, force from day one. It's a win, but you know, I don't know how we can be pleased with that, especially when we talk about what kind of team we want to be. First game, you got some first game jitters out of the way, but again, you know, I hope you're as disappointed as we are in the fact that, I mean, we're a lot better ball club than we showed tonight. All right, we got to be able to learn from this tomorrow when we watch film, and then we got to get a lot better, a lot better. We already know we have offensive talent. I don't care. We're not going to win anything if we can't defend and stop people. And we give up 74 points against a team like this. Ladies, this is a process. It's the first game. Let's take everything we, we, we heard before we came in here, take everything from what the coaches said, and, and build on this. we got to come in ready to work tomorrow. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! I just wanted to win, play hard, go out there. But I guess the, yeah, it's pretty good. More than I expected for tomorrow. Well, not for myself, points-wise, but our team, I think we could play a lot better. You know, we're a lot better now than what we were today. What I took away from the Appalachian State is that we still have a long ways to go. And, uh, you know, we're a young team, um, but we're going to grow and develop and, and become a better team as time goes on. I was going to say something, but I didn't want to be.